Good morning. It's Dr. Jess Torak from Urban Vet Associates in Westmont. I just wanted to touch base with everybody and give you a little bit of insight about feline cardiology. So our cats are these wonderful creatures who live in our homes and give us wonderful company. The challenge is, is that they are wonderful maskers and hiders of disease. Heart disease is one of the biggest things that affects our cats in their entire lifetime. Cats aren't like dogs and people. When they have heart disease, they don't necessarily get an enlarged heart. The muscle gets thick, so it's difficult to see on an x-ray. The other challenge is that cats don't often show clinical signs or any symptoms of heart disease. Like dogs kind of get exercise intolerance. Maybe they lose weight. You can hear a loud murmur when they come in for an exam. Our cats don't always get brought in for exams on a yearly basis because people feel like, hmm, my cat's only inside and it's healthy, so I don't need to bring them to the vet. Unfortunately, that's not the case. We do need to see them, to examine them, to make certain that they're healthy, to listen to that heart and see if we can hear a murmur. Even if we can't hear a murmur, there are other things we need to do to make certain that we are addressing their heart disease. We check cardiac peptides on a yearly basis for our feline patients. So a CardioPet Pro BNP. That Pro BNP is a specific um, cardiac peptide that is only secreted from heart muscles and only in certain amounts when that muscle is stressed, strained, or diseased. And so we can pick that up on a blood test, which is really easy. The other thing we like to do for our feline patients to make sure their hearts are healthy is to do an EKG every year. So just like when we get older or when we go to the doctor and we do an EKG because we're a suspect for heart disease, cats are the same thing. Cats are all suspect for heart disease, every single one of them until proven otherwise. So we make sure to investigate that on a yearly basis with EKG and pro BNP. If we do find some abnormalities, then we're going to take chest x-rays to evaluate for any abnormalities within the entire thoracic cavity, so enlarged lymph nodes, dilated blood vessels, any sort of congestion within the lungs. The other component that we want to make sure we look at if we do have verified heart disease with a pro BNP that's elevated or an abnormal EKG is to make certain that we're also doing a cardiac ultrasound, which is called an echocardiogram. So the cardiogram is really different than an x-ray. So I always like to say an x-ray is like looking at a potato, right? I can tell you how big the potato is. I know exactly where it's at in life, but I don't know what's in the middle of the potato because I can't see through it. So a cardiac ultrasound allows us to scan with a small probe through the, the body wall, like between ribs, and actually look at the patient's heart and say, are the valves okay? Is the muscle thickened? Is it pumping adequately? Do we need any medications? So when we do those echocardiograms here at Urban Vet, we make certain that a cardiologist is reviewing those and giving us advice on what we need to do in terms of how to make sure that animal stays healthy. So if you have any other questions about feline heart disease, please feel free to give us a call, visit our website. We're always happy to help and to answer questions. Thanks so much.